Hello everyone, welcome to Daisy Stalls. Now, almost one year ago now, I created this big two-part video about making this stable, which you guys really seem to like, which thank you for that. And though I am proud of it, I realized pretty quickly that I prefer things that are a lot more rustic. So in this video, I'll be making a new stable that's a lot more in my style. And speaking of stables, I'd like to thank Star Stable for being today's sponsor. You can download the game today by clicking my link in the description box. Star Stable is a unique multiplayer game which brings you to the magical island of Jorvik full of horses, friends, and adventure. You can play the game for free up to level 5 which gives you plenty of time to explore and plus by using my link you'll get one week free Star Rider to kick off your journey. You're able to customize your character as well as your very own horse to your liking. And when you're happy with your look and have registered, you can easily download the game on your laptop or PC, then you're ready to ride in no time. Each player will become part of an enchanting storyline where you and your horse will establish a special bond and together overcome an array of challenges as well as connecting with players from all around the world. The game's mission is to be a platform where players can come together, have an amazing experience and celebrate sisterhood. As someone who has played the game for many years, I can honestly say that it's a lot of fun to play, especially together with friends, doing quests, challenges, or just hanging out. The more quests you do, the further you'll advance in the game, unlocking more gear and clothing options, as well as new horses, pets, and areas. Once again, click the link down below and you can start playing right away with your one week of free Star Rider. I really hope to see you in the game, now back to the video. So now let's quickly have a look at the ideas I have for this project. I settled for this simple shed design with two compartments, one for the horses and one for storage. And I wanted to have really cozy vibes as well as definitely not looking brand new. I start by cutting a piece of plywood I had left over from making the previous stable into a 40 by 20 centimeter piece and that should give my mare and foal models a good amount of space. And yeah, these are the models I repainted in my last video, but I filmed this video before that one, so just ignore that. I got my base, so next I'm going to create the skeleton of the stable, if you will, using these thin but strong wooden craft sticks. I make up a plan in my head of how many beams I'll need, along with how long I want them to be, then with a vise holding them in place, I saw them out. Now that I got all the pieces I think I'll need, I'm going to stain them by using this acrylic paint and water mixture. This will give them a nice aged look, which is what I'm going for. When dry, they got this really lovely brownish gray color, which I really like. Next, I'm gluing six of the beams to the base using wood glue, and I'm also using this box as well as a ruler to make sure they all got that 90 degree angle. Then I just sit there holding each one until they can stand on their own. I continue building the skeleton structure by adding more beams to the base beams, as well as adding little supports. And with some planks and a bit of reworking, the very basic structure is done and I'm happy with it. One revision I made is making the front beams a bit taller than the rest so I can have a slanted roof. Now for this shelter to be functional, it definitely needs some planks, so I'm cutting out pieces of balsa wood that are the height of the beams in the back to start. Then I'm cutting out a bunch of 1cm wide planks from those pieces, intentionally cutting them a little bit jagged each time to make them less perfect and more realistic. I'm giving all of these the staining treatment.
And when they're all dry, I'm going to glue them to the base structure to make the back wall. I'm intentionally leaving some gaps in between the planks in the hopes that some light will stream through to the other side and look nice in pictures. It's the same procedure for the side walls, only that I have to trace the angle of the top part since there will be a slanted roof. During the process of making this stable, I was actually really thinking back about this place I used to go to when I was younger. They had this humble shed type thing for the horses and I actually really wanted to go back there to look for inspiration but sadly wasn't able to. I placed the last plank and the walls are done. Next, I'm going to make a half wall in the middle to separate this shed into two. Though I could have just cut out a piece of this plank, glued it in and called it a day, I do make an effort to try to make it look like it was constructed out of tiny planks, adding weathering, etc. all to make it more realistic. Then I glue it to the middle of the stable. Just before I start working on the roof, I'm going to add lots of weathering using pastels and I really try to imagine where dust and grime would settle naturally, both on the inside and on the outside. And from my experience, it's pretty inevitable that shavings and hay end up pretty much everywhere in the stable, so I add lots of those too. Now for the roof. I'm going to start by gluing in seven more vertical beams. As well as four horizontal beams. While they're drying, I weigh them down with random heavy objects, but this looks pretty scary, so I'm going to gently remove my resins from the situation. Now for the actual roof, I've had this corrugated cardboard laying around for ages and I think it will be perfect for this. I'm going to cut it into rectangles that are roughly the same size. When I think I have enough, I'm going to get out the silver metallic paint and give all of them two coats. And after a lot of painting, they're all uniform and looking nice. Now my plan was to just glue them directly onto the roof, however the back side does not look very nice and this side will show through to the inside of the stable, so that won't work. But I still have some corrugated cardboard left, so I'm going to mark how much I need to cover the roof, then struggle to cut it out. Eventually, I was able to cut it out, and I'm going to cover the entire thing with silver paint. Now finally, for the assembly of the roof, I'm going to glue the big sheet with the corrugated side down. But the cardboard was a bit springy, so I had to weigh it down with very random heavy objects, and it looked, uh, interesting. Now that the roof looks nice from the inside, it's time to make it look good from the outside as well. So I'm going to use hot glue actually to glue all the tiles to the roof. Hot glue isn't the best glue option for tack making or anything else for that sake, but it's just paper to paper this time so I thought it would be quick and easy. And when they're all on, I'm pretty happy with it. I think it looks pretty convincing as a metal roof, but it needs more grime, rust, and dust. So I'm using different earthy shades of pastels to add weathering to the roof. I said in a previous video that one thing I want to get better at in 2022 is doing exactly this, adding more dust and realism really, and I'm still new to it and it's pretty scary, but I'm liking it so far. The next thing I added is some green flocking to look like moss growing on the roof.
And in the end, it turned out like this, and I'm quite happy with it. Though I realize it probably won't be shown very much, but oh well. And with that, the basic structure of the stable is pretty much complete. That went surprisingly quickly. Now it's time to make some things for the inside of the stable, starting with the hay bales. I found a great tutorial for them on YouTube by Real Wild Play Studios, so I'll be following that. She used wooden blocks for her bases, but I didn't have those, so I thought a cheap alternative could be sponges. I cut them into appropriate hay bale sized pieces, then I wrapped them with tissue paper. Then I blitzed up some hay in a blender to make it smaller, and I'm going to glue this to my sponge base. And I do a couple layers of this to make sure no tissue paper is peeking through. I ended up making half a dozen, and honestly, I really like how they look, so shout out to Real Wild Play Studios, she really got that technique. Next, I really think this stable should have a gate so the horses don't escape. So I'm going to bend a thick florist wire into this kind of shape that fits nicely into the opening. Then I cut this wooden dowel that is the same height as the gate, and I'm going to drill four holes into it. I'm also going to cut four pieces of the same wire in the length of the gate. Then I feed those through the four holes on the wooden dowel. And when super glued in place, it looks like this. I paint the dowel to match the rest of the gate, as well as adding some paint rust. When the paint is dry, I attach a couple of hinges to the gate, then I super glue it in place. And look at this! It's totally functioning, and I really really like how that looks. Yay! Now, you may think that these parts on the gate that are rusted are just painted on, but this is actual rust. I achieved this by using a mixture of salt and vinegar, and I painted that onto the metal, and after it marinated for a couple days, it actually started rusting. But do note that this doesn't work on all metals. I'm not really sure which ones work and which ones don't, but this one did at least. Now these two definitely deserve a softer floor, so I'm going to add in some wood shavings. This was actually all collected from a sawdust collector on an electrical saw. But chances are some of you don't have that, so you can also take some normal wood shavings and put it in a blender and blitz it up, and it should give you something similar. Now, of course, I just have to put them back into the stall, and just look at them, they look so cute, I love this so much. Now, since this table has three walls and it's rather enclosed, it will get dark pretty quickly, so I thought having some lights would be good, along with just looking cool. <laughs> So I bought these balloon lights off AliExpress, which are really compact and small, which is ideal for this, and they're also pretty darn strong. But as it is right now, it looks pretty modern, so I'm going to fix that, first using this dried up tube of glue. So I started cutting into it to salvage the piece I want, and that's when I realized that it was not at all dried out. This glue smells awful too, so I just gave it a clean, and I'm going to start cleaning up the excess metal around the edge. I'm going to saw off that top part, and I made it into a lampshade. I made the bulb out of hot glue, the glass casing out of those gelatin pill capsules, and the metal netting is just wire. I'm honestly so proud of these, I think they turned out pretty convincing, and I love that they actually light up. I made a second one, and I'm of course going to make them look rusty and old using paint. I'm using a strong two-part epoxy glue to glue them into the stable, but apparently I didn't want you to see that, I wanted you to see my hair. <laughs> anyway, I think they look super nice inside the stable. And to make it look even nicer, I'm going to add lots of little things you'd expect to see in a shed like this, most of which I made off camera. And now I'm just going to let you watch me arrange all of these tiny accessories.
and once the mare, foal, and their owner are safely inside, the stable is complete. The stable is finished and I'm really happy with the result. I think I pulled off having that rough look that I was going for and the process this time was quite a lot more laid back compared to that other stable. And I know I maybe made it seem like I dislike that stable in the beginning of this video but don't get me wrong I definitely like that stable. There was just something lacking for me and that void is definitely filled with this new stable. Now so far I've made videos about painting this mare in full and now making this stable and next video on the agenda is customizing this doll. I'm pretty excited about making that video so I hope you guys are too. Now if you watched this far I want to thank you so much and also remind you to click the link down below to download Star Stable and get one week of free Star Rider and also just note that it's only available on computer or laptop. I hope you have enjoyed watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Good job! Do you want to space barn? No way. Ha, där du stötte någon gång och sett. Visste du att man kunde det? Nej.